Okay, we've seen our first look at the partitioning cores. Let's check out some of the more interesting things you can do once you have that power of partitioning data into logical subpartitions. Enjoy the video. These are short two minute sessions designed at solving real problems, not just wandering you through the syntax. In this session, we're gonna look at partitioning like we did in the last video and how it pertains to our first look at aggregation, which is where analytics really have their power. So aggregation you'll be familiar with, it's sum, average, min, max, count, those kind of functions that we would normally see in a group by statement. So a quick 10 second recap. In the last session, we looked at the partition clause for the first time. And that was really about partitioning the data into logical subsets and then applying an analytic to them. So this is the example we looked at. We needed the three highest populated countries per continent. And this is what we did. We partitioned the data by continent and therefore we got a ranking figure, one, two or three in the pop rank column for each continent rather than across the whole set. Today's requirement is looking at partitioning and applying an aggregate. So aggregation is where we start using the power of analytics to sum up data, and in this case within partitions. So here's today's requirement. I need departmental salaries running total by employee name. And as per normal, because it comes from your manager, they need it ASAP. Total is the keyword there. It means we're doing some sort of aggregation. So we're going back to our normal employee data for this particular demo. There's the sample data. Almost the entire syntax has been given to us just in the requirement. We're doing it by department number, so that's how we're partitioning. We're sorting the data by employee name, so it's ordered by E name. The new thing we're looking at today is the sum function. Rather than doing a ranking, we're actually summing some data. And this is the first time we get to use some arguments. We're summing the salary. And it literally is that easy. Reading the statement has actually given us the function we require. So, we don't need a windowing clause, let's bang it into our SQL and see what comes out. So there's our syntax as the running total, and out comes the column. Now, how's that figure being arrived at? Let's wander through. We start with the first row, the salary is 2,450, the running total is 2,450. As we move on to the second row, 7,450 is the sum of the two salaries there. The third row, 8,750 is the sum of all the salaries in department 10. When we move on to the next row, we start again because we're partitioning by department number. We've now moved on to department 20, and so on and so on. A word of caution here. The reason the running total seems to match up with the data is you can see that I've done partition by department number ordered by E name, and I've also sorted my result set by department number and E name. So the running total matches quite nicely with the actual rest of the data. Obviously, we don't have to do that. For example, here I have partition by department number ordered by E name, but I've sorted the entire result by department number and hiring date. Now, if we look at the running total, it seems a little bit out of whack. We can see that we have a number 4450 there, which is obviously less than the previous row, 6650. But the numbers are actually correct. 4450 is actually the sum of those two rows there. There is nothing to stop you ordering and sequencing an analytic totally independent from the actual final order by you put on your SQL. The data is still correct, it just doesn't look as nice on the screen. There's a lot of power when you start using aggregation and analytics. For example, in a single query, we could look at the total salary over the whole table, the total salary by department number, by department number and job. We can do all this work all with one simple query. You can run these scripts by yourself. You'll see these from the live SQL link you can click on below. In the next session, we'll look a bit more closely at aggregation. We've skipped over a couple of things here. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.